Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and training camp has officially started for the New York Jets. I'm so excited to give you guys this video. If you guys were here with me last year, I remember I made a recap to every single day of training camp, and I enjoyed every single moment of it, so it feels so good to be back. In this video, I'm going to break down everything that came out of day one of Jets training camp, who are the starters for the offense and the defense, who is out there, some injury news, and who played well and who did not play well. Obviously, the headline of today's training camp is Zach Wilson remains unsigned and he was not at training camp. So that's something I'm going to talk about in this video. Before I hop into it, I just want to mention if you guys are new to Jets Media, please do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you want to check me out over on Instagram and Twitter, that is at NYJets underscore media. And if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to thumbs it up. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. So first off, let's talk about Zach Wilson and this whole contract situation. Obviously, it is very disappointing. The same exact thing happened to Sam Darnold, if you guys remember three years ago. Sam actually missed three practices uh, uh, because of the same exact situation. But then Sam came in and then he actually won the job and he actually had a really good week one start. But... I don't want to compare the same situations. So I don't know if it's a GM situation, the agent or the ownership, but obviously it's very disappointing. Trey Lance got his contract. So now Zach Wilson is the only one without a contract. My expectations is Zach Wilson to be signed in the next day or so. Robert Sala got asked from Connor Hughes today saying, um, when should you expect Zach Wilson? Or at one point do you need him? And then Robert Sala smirked and he answered with, ask me that again tomorrow. So maybe that's hinting that it's a job's going to be done. The, uh, contract will be signed later today and he'll be with the New York Jets tomorrow morning but nothing's guaranteed it's definitely frustrating but the only uh, positive thing that I can say about this is obviously it's terrible it's very disappointing that Zach Wilson's not there because he needs every rep possible but on the flip side of things Mike White and James Morgan that gives them more opportunities to get reps because as we know the quarterback two position is a big question mark for the New York Jets. The depth at the QB spot has been in question. Are we going to get a veteran? Are we going to do this? Mike White and James Morgan are the guys behind Zach Wilson. So that gives them every opportunity to show what they can do with the first and second team. So with that being said, let's jump right into the starters and who was out there for the first team uh, for the Jets offense and defense. So starting off with the offense this is very interesting. So the quarterback was Mike White. Uh, running back Mike Carter so the rookie running back gets the first team reps in the first day of training camp the wide receivers were Corey Davis Jamison Crowder and Keelan Cole as you guys can tell it's all veterans so none of the young guys like Elijah Moore Denzel Mims are in the starters uh, the second team wide receivers was Elijah Moore Denzel Mims and Braxton Berrios and the tight end position was K Tyler Croft was the tight end one to start off training camp today and then the offensive line was left tackle Makai Becton left guard Elijah Vera Tucker center Connor McGovern right guard Greg Van Roden right tackle Morgan Moses and another update if you guys did not know George Fant got placed on the COVID-19 reserve list so he's going to be out for 10 days at least so that's why Morgan Moses is definitely starting at right tackle to start off training camp even though it's probably going to be open competition but if I had to guess Morgan Moses will get the job eventually now let's get to the defensive side of things and the first team out there for the defense today the cornerback position is bless Austin and Lamar Jackson you might be wondering why is Bryce Hall not there don't worry no injuries no contract situations he's already signed the the thing is Bryce Hall is having a baby with his uh, wife so he is out and he's not there at practice so that's the best news you can find out I got a little worried at first I saw a tweet saying that Bly uh, Bryce Hall's nowhere to be found and I got a little nervous but then we find out that He's expecting a child, and that's why he's not there. So that's the best case scenario for Bryce Hall. So very interesting, though, that Lamar Jackson is the one that fills in for Bryce Hall at the starters, an undrafted rookie last season. Now we get into the linebackers group. We got CJ Mosey, Jared Davis, and Hamza Nazraldine is starting at the Will linebacker to start off training camp. Very interesting. A rookie that a lot of Jets fans have a lot of high hopes for, and we know what he brings to the table. So for him to be the starting Will linebacker to start off training camp is a good sign for him because I would love for him to be the starter. He's a freak, and I cannot wait to see what he can do all throughout training camp. The safeties are the two veterans, Marcus May and LaMarcus Joyner, and defensive line, John Franklin Myers, Sheldon Rankins, and Carl Lawson. So that's really these starters uh, for day one of training camp. Obviously, this is going to fluctuate all throughout the entire training camp. There's going to be people rotating in. Just because this is the first team today, it's not going to be it's the first team tomorrow. They're going to be experimenting. So the first thing I want to talk about is what happened today in training camp. So Mike White, he apparently played well. The offense did a little... 
I had a little, not a lot of juice to them to start off training camp as expected without Zach Wilson, according to all the beat reporters that are at training camp. And we're lucky enough to see play by play tweets from DJ of NY Daily News and Connor Hughes and all these guys. Mike White started off practice a little rough, but then he got into a rhythm. He's finding guys like Elijah Moore, uh, Kenny Yaboa, and all these guys, and he got into rhythm looking pretty decent. And then James Morgan, he didn't have a terrible uh, practice today. He actually looked pretty decent. Uh, all the beat reporters are saying that Mike White definitely looks like the better quarterback, but uh, James Morgan's not too far behind him. So that's what really I took away from the quarterback position in today's training camp, according to all the beat reporters. Um, the running game was solid today. We saw a great tweet from Connor Hughes saying that Makai Becton and Elijah Vera Tucker absolutely opens up a gaping hole for Tevin Coleman to go through. And that's exactly what Jets fans want to see is Elijah Vera Tucker and Makai Becton just absolutely demolishing people and opening up holes. So that's really awesome. Uh, the offensive line is definitely going to be the talk of training camp as well. So yeah, there's not really a lot to talk about with what happened on the field today. There wasn't really too much reports. The biggest news I feel like in today's training camp is the injury news. Zach Wilson not being there and and all that stuff. So now let's get into some injury news. Um, Vinny Curry and Ashton Davis will not be available until week two. Um, so this is pretty interesting. We knew that they were injured going into training camp, but now we get a timetable of when to expect them. So they're going to miss all of training camp and the preseason. Now, Quentin Williams, as we know, he is battling a foot injury. He had surgery a couple months ago and he's rehabbing. Uh, Robert Sala mentioned that he is expected to be healthy by the second preseason game. And that's very good, honestly, for someone that's getting surgery on his foot a couple months ago. I feel like he's having a speedy recovery. And it's good news for Quinn Williams to be coming back by the second preseason game because he needs at least a couple of weeks of practice before he can be full throttle, all gas, no break, starting for the New York Jets uh, uh, defense uh, week one against the Carolina Panthers. So that's really all the notes that I have um, about this training camp. Now let's get into just some of the things that I took away. Just the offense in general. Obviously, it's unfortunate that we don't have Zach Wilson, but the one thing I want to talk about in particular is Michael Carter being the starting running back. This does not mean he's getting 30 carries per game, guys. This does not mean that at all. Tevin Coleman's going to get his fair share, Ty Johnson, LaMichael Pirine. Actually, throughout this entire day, I saw a couple tweets from DJ, LaMichael Pirine, Ty Johnson, and Mike Carter all had solid days, and they had a really good run. Is that based on the offensive line or their vision? Who knows? But it's good to see this run game is establishing themselves. There are some times where the defensive line blows it up. You know, it's hard to really break down day one of training camp because you need to really have a couple days before you know who's starting and who isn't at the same time but shout out to all the beat reporters for giving us all the latest news that's going on at Jets training camp I can't wait to be there with my own eyes Saturday and Monday so if you guys are going to either of those practices Saturday or Monday let me know down below in the comments I would love to meet you guys unfortunately I'm not going to be at the green and white scrimmage at MetLife Stadium I'm actually going on vacation August 3rd to August 10th I'm going to Los Angeles with my friends but don't worry I'm bringing my equipment i'm going to be making videos while i'm in la i'll try to make a studio while i'm there because i got to be reporting what's going on at jets training camp there's going to be so much news happening all over the place with the new york jets so that's really my thoughts of day one of jets training camp i gave you guys all the latest news of the injuries all the starters for offense and defense and what i really took away so let me know down below in the comments your thoughts of jets day one of training camp obviously there's a little bad taste in our mouths just because zach wilson's not signed and we're still waiting for him to be out there and that's the the you know the golden child that's what Jets fans are looking forward to the most is seeing the rookie quarterback so obviously there's a little negativity surrounding the Jets right now hopefully they can get the job done and sign him to a deal in the next 24 48 hours so he can be out there because every single rep is crucial so leave a comment down below your thoughts like the video if you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in my next video let's go Jets peace